All right, good morning. It's uh, Tuesday, November uh, 14th, and we are here for hunt number 17 of the Michigan waterfall season. Only got a few left, and I start when I head back home to Alaska. Uh, got a boat in the water. We're the only party here this morning, um, which I figured probably would since the last few days have been, been dead here. We got a south wind, uh, a little brisk this morning. Um, we're seeing in the low 30s right now. It's supposed to get up into the mid 50s this afternoon. Clear skies, so we'll see how the day goes. All right, we're all set up. We got about 15 minutes before uh, shooting light. So I'm going to have my coffee and uh, kind of sit back. We got uh, clear skies, winds coming out of kind of south, southeast, probably maybe four or five knots. Um, we can hear some quacking coming from behind us. I imagine that uh, with uh, being clear skies, it's kind of bright out. These ducks are going to pick up again just before shooting light and take off out of here. So... Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, usually we can get uh, some some late ones that fly over and we can get some passing shots uh, right around shooting time. So, But, all right, I'm going to finish my coffee and we'll see you guys just before um, shooting light. And there they all go. Whole bunch of them. Five minutes before shooting light yet. So they're coming right over the top of us. Oh, you can see them. Kind of hard to get these. There's a whole bunch of them that just took off and flew up north. gets too bright. Ducks just get out of here without any cloud coverage. We got four minutes yet. There's some more quacking somewhere. Oh, there they are. Right above the tree top there. There comes a couple mallards there. Bunch of just oh, there's some more here. I don't know if you can see them, but yeah, there's a couple dozen there. There's a couple there. Front of us. There's a couple more. All right, we've got a few minutes. I'm gonna put this camera down and see if anything else comes up. Of course nothing. What's that? And of course nothing. Yep. Shooting time and nothing flying. Oh, right there on your side. <laughs> Steve, come on, come on my side.
Steve, right here, right here. Where they, right behind us, right behind us. down yet. They're right there. Right out front, Steve. God, dog. Is it Morganzer? I don't think so. Maybe. I don't think it is. It's got a duck just landed in the decoys right there. Denver Lake, Denver, Denver, Denver Lake, Denver, Denver. Oh man. Little black ducks. I think those are black ducks, Steve. They are. They are black ducks? Yeah. Well, these black ducks are getting closer. Do it. We got four down. Denver, like Denver. That one's still swimming. Just dove. Watch your help. You got it? Nope, watch yourself. Lake Denver, Denver. I don't know. Yep, yep. Denver, Lake Denver. Never. Lake Dever. 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 Lake Dever. Dever. Lake Dever. Go. Dever. Dever. Lake Dever. Lake Denver, come on, let's go. You ready? 
Deadbird! Deadbird! I know you want to go get them. Deadbird! Deadbird! There's three of them out there for you. Ready, Link? Rick, ready? Like two drakes. Take him here. Hey, dead bird. Where'd he go? Oh, no, okay. Hey, dead bird, dead bird, dead bird. Should we go pick up birds? Alright, we just got, uh, we got some blackbirds, those were the black ducks that came in uh, close with water swat, and then we just got um, some mallards that just came in, and we got those. Uh, I think Lake's done, he's refusing, um, it's kind of frustrating, he's, he's wants to go get them, but he doesn't want to go in the water. Um, I think he's exhausted. He's been doing this, you know, straight for 17 days now. So, um, we're going to go pick up ducks. So, all right, so here's a black duck. Apparently there was some hen mallards that were in there with the group. And we ended up getting two of those. There's a... Drake, we just got, he's got some green going on back here. And this morning, a little buffy. I lost him in the sun. There's the ring knife that buzzed us. Right over the top of us, they were in the sun, so we couldn't see them. They landed out there in the middle of the lake. Alright, well, these ring necks are getting close. And we might try to jump them here and get them. Not one even coming any closer here. That's a drake. Get ready, here we go.
Got Steve right here behind us. Oh. What? Yeah, I only had one shell and that flew, one flew right. That one's dying. No. Try this one again here. Damn. Get it? Nope. Like Gibbard, Gibbard, like Gibbard. Gibbard, like Gibbard, like. Like Gibbard, Gibbard. Lake, Denver. Denver Lake. Good boy. Good boy, come on. Good boy. Come on. Oh, uh, Woody's. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Wow, Woody's. Yeah, Woody's. I don't know. Let's see. Lake Debert. Uh, we tried to jump up the, uh, the ring necks that came in by the decoys, and they wouldn't move, so we swatted them. Um, we got three of those out of the five, and then when we fired, we had some wood ducks that came from behind us and flew right over us, and so we got um, uh, Woody. So we've got nine ducks so far, so way better than what we thought we were going to be doing here. So I'm not sure what time it is. Well, what time is it, you know? Nine thirty. So it's nine thirty. We might give another thirty, forty-five minutes, and then we're gonna have to get out of here so Steve can uh, go into work this afternoon. So, but uh, but yeah, nine ducks, not too bad. So, all right, stay tuned. Okay, well that's gonna be it for this hunt. It's ten o'clock. Uh, we gotta pack it up. Um, so. Um, looks like we might have a wounded bird out in front of us. Um, we're going to go check it out if, when we leave, um, leave here and, and see what's going on with that. Um, getting out of here with nine birds, um, some mallards, wood duck, uh, ring necks, and black ducks. So uh, not too bad, better than what, what we expected. Um, I, we talked it over. I think we're going to take uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, the November 15th. We're going to take that day off. I think Lake needs a, needs a day to rejuvenate. Um, he was just so exhausted he couldn't even keep his eyes open out here. So he wanted to go retrieve the ducks. He was all excited, but he just didn't want to go step into the water. Um, so we're going to take a day off, let him rest up. Steve's going to go into work, get some work done so we can have... Uh, Thursday, Friday, um, available to hunt, and then Saturday will be my last hunt, and then I leave back to Alaska on Sunday. So, all right, with that, we are going to go ahead and pack it up, and um, we'll see everybody back uh, in a couple of days on November 16th, I believe, Thursday. So, okay, catch you then. All right, so we were packing up, and we just had three mallards that came in. <laughs> Didn't get it on film because all my camera gear was packed up, shot cam was off, uh, but they did it right, and we got we got uh, we got two of them. So, uh, but hey, uh, two man limit I think, including one that we we 
um, that we lost. So, alrighty. Alright, here's the bag for today. Two man limit. We lost one. So we got some ringnecks, some mallards, and a buffy, and a wood duck. And Lake looks totally exhausted. Lake! Lake! Well, we had those uh, three mallards that came in right when we were picking up. I didn't have any camera gear out. I had already packed it up. Um, so we got two out of those, which brought us to nine, and then we lost one earlier. Or correction, brought us to 11. We lost one earlier. So technically, we've got a two-man limit. Um, so um, we're going to give give it a break tomorrow. I might call a buddy and see if he wants to go out with just me. Steve's going to go to work. Um, we're going to give Lake a break because he definitely needs one. He was just couldn't keep his eyes open out there today. He didn't want to go fetch anything. Um, he did get one, one of the wood ducks, which fell about 10 feet away from the boat. He went and got that. Um, other than that, um, yeah, he just totally needs a break. He was just... He was sitting there up on the bow of the boat and just kind of weaving back and forth and keep his eyes open. So um, we're just going to give him a break. Steve, like I said, Steve's going to go to work tomorrow. Um, and actually, he's got to go in this afternoon. Um, he's got a big project that he's working on that needs to get uh, some work done on it. So he's going to go do that um, so we can uh, spend Thursday, Friday, and then uh, Saturday um, will be it uh, for me. So. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you liked. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and uh, we'll see everybody on the next one.